When I set out to make Al Otro Lado, what I really wanted to do was um, capture the sense of humor and the culture behind the economic crisis and the way that music was uh, the vehicle that people were using to talk about their experience. When I met Magdiel, I was actually shooting at the factory where they make the fishing boats. And I was looking for the unknown composers because I already had contact with Los Tigres del Norte, who are the superstars, and I was following the legacy of Chalino through the musicians in L.A. and through his family in Sinaloa. So what I was really missing in my story was these unknown uh, composers who were sort of keeping up the tradition of the corrido as the musical newspaper and um, like a troubadour song. I really liked his songs because they were different and that they were about the fishing village. And most narco corridos, as they call them, are about people from the Sierra who grow opium or the huge you know, drug traffickers. And his were about sort of the small-time fisherman who is in a pinch and has to traffic once or twice. And that was what I was interested in, in terms of the drug trafficking, and the songs really captured that. And then he was at that crossroads in his life of having to make this difficult decision. I want the audience to feel what Magdiel felt when he left home and what his mother felt when she said goodbye to him, which is sort of this complete uncertainty of what could have happened to him.